Hi and welcome to my channel. I finally got my hands on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. This is from my postpaid plan renewal and I waited one and a half month, months for this one. As you can see, I was already so I was so excited that I've already peeled off the plastic covering and then I realized wouldn't it be a great way to open my channel with an unboxing video? So just keep watching. Say hello to Cassius. So I told myself that this 10s will be my last iPhone because we all know they cost a kidney but after the whirlwind year that was 2020 I just felt like treating myself with this one. I also got a larger display for the first time. Oh, wow, look at that. It's so pretty. It's so aesthetic. This is very reminiscent of my very first iPhone, which was the Gold 5S. Unlike the older ones, this box does not include the power adapter and the ear pods. It only has the type C lightning cable and the usual paperwork. For the screen protector, I got the Capdace High Aluminum Tempered Glass. This is for 1080 pesos and I think it's quite pricey because I was gonna go for the Spigen Easy Fit. It has uh, an alignment guide that'll help you install the glass seamlessly but it wasn't available. That was also much cheaper. This set includes some guide helper stickers, a dust removal sticker, wet wipe and cloth, and the actual tempered glass. Now, I'm not really sure how to go about this, so let me just read the instructions. So the first step is to use the wet wipe to clean off all the fingerprints and dust and then dry it with the cloth provided. With the dust removal sticker, I'm just going to remove all the extra dust and lint because they're going to show up as bubbles on your screen once you once you've installed your glass protector. Here we go. I'm just being very careful not to cover the front camera. And the speaker because this is a full full screen glass I'm just transferring the SIM card from my old phone and making sure I do this before I put on the case Just wiping off the fingerprints. This is the Kate Spade clear floral case. I got it for 1,990 pesos at Digital Walker. I'm not the type who collects a lot of cases, I just go for one clear case and that's what I use the whole time. But for the first time, I'm getting 
one with some prints on it because this is so gorgeous look at that it even matches my nail polish It includes a one-year warranty card. The sides of the case are quite soft and that's great because it's not going to scratch your phone when you install it. But the back is a hard shell. There are also raised lips on the screen and camera parts. This is my old Spigen Ultra Hybrid case. It's turned yellow on the sides after two years of use, but provides great protection. Now, it'll take me some time to adjust to a bigger phone on my hands, so I decided to get a ring holder. I think that's what it's called, and a pop socket. I couldn't decide which one to get, so I got both. This pop socket is for 150 pesos. I forgot where I got it, but it's in one of the stalls in SM Cebu. And the ring holder is for 100 pesos. Now I'm turning it on. This USB-C 20 watts power adapter is for 1,190 pesos. It's fast charging. I got this from an authorized reseller because there was a long line in the Apple store and they were only allowing one customer at a time. Still disappointed that this didn't come in the box though. 